Hello, and welcome to our third video about the Spark distribution, which is an upcoming distribution for uh, Drupal 7. Uh, my name is Preston So. Um, I'm a uh, prototyper with Acquia, currently on the Spark team, um, working on uh, putting together prototypes for a lot of the things that you'll be taking a look at here today. Um, if you're not familiar with Spark, Spark is a uh, revolutionary new distribution that will really change the way people approach editing their content and uh, creating content on Drupal 7. Uh, we're really excited about this project. There's been a lot of progress already made on the edit and layout modules, um, but what I'm here to talk to you about today is the uh, Ember administrative theme um, and uh, the dashboard that will be packaged with uh, Spark um, and some of the improvements that we've been making uh, in light of responsive web design. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, Right here, what you're taking a look at is the new dashboard that we will be packaging with Drupal with uh, Spark. And uh, right off the bat, one of the things you'll notice is that there's been a lot of changes aesthetically to really make things very clear and very clean. Um, and uh, across the top here, you'll notice that the toolbar has completely changed, the icons are a little larger, and so on and so forth. And this is really meant to be optimal across a variety of different contexts uh, and responsive across all of them as well. Um, and uh, so, so this right here is a uh, is is pretty. Uh, we've taken a lot of inspiration from um, Lewis Nyman, who's done a lot of work on the uh, mobile toolbar and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the things that uh, we've looked at here are are, 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 are very much inspired and uh, in tandem with what Lewis has done um, one of the first things that you'll notice is that we've really brought it down to two buttons only a home and administration button because um, right here we've got a separate little area right here a vertical pullout that's going to contain a lot of these other buttons that we really don't think are necessary up, up across the top and I'll show you shortly also so why we don't want these buttons on the on the top as well. Um, so uh, you know, right here, what you notice is that if I click on this little toggle right here, I can actually hide this and show it. Um, and this is very similar if you have used the uh, admin tools module. This is very similar to the way the admin tools module works. And um, the you know we're really hoping to stick to the uh, the probably found elsewhere philosophy and 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 uh, stick to the admin tools module as we build this. Um, but one of the things you'll notice is that this is really meant to be a sort of versatile and accessible place where you can access pretty much any administrative function that you might need to find. So if I click on this content tab right here, right here you'll notice that I've got several other options that I can click on. And um, these will take me further down and it'll drill down into further trees, um, which will uh, you know, help me navigate to some of the things I might want to edit and change. So if I close that back up, the other thing that you'll notice is that um, we've got a new dashboard right here which contains four specific buttons that people that we really think that people are going to use um, you know as an 80% use case we think that uh, right here um, these four buttons are really going to be action items for people to 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 click on and see what they want to actually edit and so what you'll see is that if I click on this add button you'll see that I've got basically options for adding content and um, we're really hoping that this level of simplicity will help people navigate very easily to what they're specifically looking for. And so this find option right here is a very similar approach. We're hoping that this will serve as a sort of uh, search bar for all content and you'll eventually be able to type anything in here and dynamically receive results um, you know, which, uh, which relate to your content here. Um, so if I, uh, if I continue clicking, you'll see that, you know, once again, we've really tried to keep this interface very simple. People are really not wanting to be overwhelmed with a lot of options. So we've really tried to limit um, what we put into this little area right here. If I scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that we've got now some tables that um, are really going to sort of cover a lot of the different pieces of content that people are going to want to see. Um, and Obviously, this is going to be very customizable. We're going to have the ability for people to uh, move these boxes around as well as toggle their visibility. Uh, please keep in mind that this is a prototype. This is not actually in Drupal. Um, and uh, we are currently in the process of building this. Um, so, uh, you know, not all of the functionality is here, but um, most, you know, a, a great deal of the, of the things that you see here will make it into the final version. Um, Finally, uh, uh, so the, the, the uh, next thing I'd like to show you is um, how this all looks from a mobile context. 
Um, so if you look right here, this is the exact same page, except all I've done is I've resized the viewport. And what you'll notice is that we've got a very much app-like interface right here with very clear icons across the top that are really meant to allow the user to edit this on a smartphone or, or any other uh, uh, you know, tablet, for example. And instead of this, this, to this toggle over here, uh, toggling between the visibility and invisibility of this, uh, this vertical pullout, instead we can actually switch directly over to the dashboard right here. And we can switch back back and forth and, and we're actually able to, uh, to uh, switch back and forth on our uh, smartphone. Um, and so this is a very big advancement because it means that we're going to have a lot of ability for people who are using Drupal on their phones uh, to be able to work with their content and edit their content. And um, we've got a lot of stuff here uh, that has already made it into the edit module in terms of mobile authoring. So um, finally, one of the last things that I'd like to show you here is um, what we're looking at in terms of content creation. We've, uh, there's been a lot of conversations uh, within uh, Drupal uh, about the uh, usability of content creation and content addition. And uh, Boyan Summers has really been the one who has uh, uh, spearheaded this. And um, one of the things that we decided to do was actually integrate his, uh, his iterations for the content creation page into our design as well. Um, and uh, so what you'll notice here is that we've got um, a lot of the things that he has, uh, he, that he has already completed um, already built into this prototype. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we, are, we are really hoping that this is going to cause a great deal of excitement, you know, across the Drupal community. Um, these, all, you know, all of these amazing looking, uh, uh, really beautiful designs are by uh, uh, our, our mastermind, uh, Kevin O'Leary. Um, who's really been putting a lot of work lately into putting these, uh, these mock-ups together. Um, so uh, this is it. This is the uh, responsive dashboard, which will be uh, you know, being, being used for Spark. Um, and uh, we really hope that uh, you will uh, take the time to help out. Um, please feel free to, to help out with the Spark team and navigate to the issue queue. Um, we, you know, we could really use any feedback, any comments you might have. And uh, we really look forward to showing you a lot more here very soon. Thank you so much for watching.